Hi, Daniel Bonforti here from Regal Technologies, and today we'll be continuing to build, debug, and analyze our remote control robot. Today we'll be installing the robot's infrared sensors, which will allow it to follow a line on the ground. To do this, we will need to determine how far away the sensors need to be mounted in order to accurately follow that line. So this robot has two infrared sensors, and these sensors look like this, and these are active sensors. So what this is basically stating is the sensors themselves don't need the robot to trigger them on when to send a response. They're going to send a response every time it sees something in its line of path. So what we've done here is we've got our sensor connected to our power supply, just powering at the 5.6 volts, which is what the robot powers all of the sensors with. And then we've got it connected to our oscilloscope here, just so we can see the response and voltage, and that's tied to a common ground with the power supply. So what we can see is as I move my hand across, we'll see not only a light trigger up here, but also we'll start seeing a voltage on the oscilloscope change. So that's how the sensors work. What we need to then determine is how far away I can mount the sensors so that they're able to see this tape line here, which is what we'll be having the robot follow later on. So to do this, I'm just going to simply hold it over the tape line, and what we need to do is we need to determine how far away we can mount the sensor from the ground so that it's still properly reading, but also giving the robot enough clearance so that it can continue to go over more rough terrain. So to do this, I'm just going to drag it over the tape, and we can still see the LED here and on our oscilloscope here. And as I move it across, I'll just move it further and further up, and what we'll find is we're sitting right about half an inch away from the tape, and if I bring it up a little bit farther, we'll see it's no longer accurately reading the tape line. So we want to mount our sensors right about here, which will give us the most distance between the ground and the sensor itself to protect the sensor, but also still allow it to read the tape line. Now that we know how high to mount the sensors, we can now add them to the robot so that they're about half an inch above the ground to both maximize the clearance, and this will also allow the robot to easily track a dark line on the ground. To test that the sensors are mounted properly, I have laid out a simple tape line on our desk here for the robot to follow. As we can see, the robot is easily able to follow the tape line that I have laid out on the desk, which confirms that the sensors are working properly.